Good afternoon, Wilmot Union High School Hiring Committee. I'd like to, my name is Kirsten Bank, and I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for looking at my application and seeing that I have what qualifies me to to be a Wilmot Panther. Um, some of my educational background is I just graduated in December from UW Whitewater with a degree in English education and a minor in history. Some of my educational background is I actually student taught at Wilmot Union High School and learning how the Charlotte Danielson works and PLC communities um, and um, how this works to make a classroom successful. Um, I did spend some time at Marion Central Catholic High School before coming back to Wilmot during this distance learning process. Um, that's to answer your first question. That's a little bit about my educational background. Um my experience um, in using formative assessment to drive my instruction. Um, during our short story unit, unit, I worked with, during my student teaching, the wonderful Adrian Birch, and we worked really well together in evaluating how we can drive formative, formative assessments and formative formative data to drive our instruction. Um, so what we did was... Um, or what I did during this process during my student teaching with my third hour is I um, so taught a lesson, had um, week full of lessons building up to a formative assessment. So with this, we had first day was usually a lesson, second day giving homework, see what we may have missed to answer any following questions that they may have, then going into partner work and then going into individual work and then finishing out with a formative assessment. With all the practice that we usually gave, if the formative assessment um, students were still missing some certain concepts that we taught throughout the week and gave opportunities to ask questions, to use their resources. They were still missing some of those marks. What we did is we worked through and we graded those formative assessments, making a list of students that needed a little extra time, a little extra help because we, I understood that um, students learn at different different angles. I'm a visual learner. Some students are more of auditory learners. Some are not visual learners or auditory learners. Sometimes they learn by being physically able to do it. Um, so with this, we use those response to intervention periods of warp. Um, and during those times, what we did was we worked with those students that we made a list of and worked with them individually during this time. And we saw tremendous improvement and we made sure that those students met the essential standards that were needed for them to be able to see, succeed in the following school year. Um, what I've been doing with the online learning is with my sophomores now and my American Lit is I've been using their formative assessments to kind of build on the knowledge that they already had. Um, I've been using their formative assessments um, in my Zoom meetings currently with them, um, with the few students that I have had because I understand not every student during this time is able to make the Zoom meetings. But during this time, what I've been doing is with the Zoom, sharing the screen and going through the poems that I have assigned that week and then going through the process. Okay, how do we um, this is what I want from your analysis for the following week and kind of introducing the upcoming formative assessment and then making sure that I go through thoroughly giving them as much feedback as I can. Um, and this has helped tremendously. I've seen amazing improvement with my American Lit kids going, this is exactly what I am looking for, going from just brief um brief comments to the questions of Raisin in the Sun, um, and then moving into the full-on character development and analysis of the characters themselves. So it's really been amazing to see that even in distance learning that these students are even building on their answers and using the formative work to, using the formative work that I can work with from what I know of with these students and still be able to get them to where they need to be for next year. Um, to answer your third question, my experience of working with a professional learning community, um, being a student teacher at Wilmot, you guys introduced me to a PLC community, which I didn't know about until in my college experience. Um, I think it's amazing for new teachers to have that PLC community because I was working with Tara Smith, um, Ad Adrian Birch, obviously, um, working with Sarah Gerberic, working with Patrick Straub. Um, and Jessica Hammersmith, um, and working with those incredible people that have been 
teachers for several years um, to being to six to 10 10 year teachers and then being a new teacher as a student teacher. And then Tara and I were kind of in the same boat. She's coming off of student teaching. I'm in student teaching. It was amazing to have that collaborative environment and to have that support system because I knew that I could go to I knew that I could go to Jessica Hammersmith and be like, okay, this is what I want to do in the classroom. How do I make this work with the library? And she'd be like, don't worry, I got it. Um, so that was amazing. Um, and also seeing how during towards the end, we worked with the business, um, the business department during a PLC meeting. We talked about how this particular teacher wanted to bring in writing, but didn't know how to grade it per particularly well. So what we did was we brought in our own writing and being a part on how we would grade the writing and helped her through that. And I think it creates an amazing environment for us as teachers. And it also creates a, an amazing learning environment for students um, because they see the staff working together, which encourages them to work together and use their resources, um, which helps students strive to succeed. Um, so unfortunately, the time is coming to a close. I'd like to thank you again for this tremendous opportunity to interview at Wilmot Union High School to hopefully come back next fall. Um, I would love to be a Panther again. Um, so I look forward to hearing from look forward to hearing from you guys and have a great rest of your day and stay safe.